The End of God is an autobiographical movie about uh, uh, my adolescence. Um, it's set in Naples in the 80s, and the main character is uh, Fabietto. Uh, the movie is split in two parts, I could say. Uh, first is uh, like a sort of comedy, full of joy and uh, fun, and then uh, the tragedy comes back and uh, the things change like sometime uh, happen in the life. No, I'm not so conscious. I know that uh, Naples is a city, well, I know that there are many movies about Naples. I simply uh, told the, the Naples that I knew when I was young. So I simply use the locations, uh, real locations where I was used to, to live and uh, to stay. Yeah, they look like larger than life, but they were real. It was, uh, what can I say? Napolitan people love to, to act, love to be actors, even when they do other uh, works, other jobs. So that lunch is the, 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 the demonstration of the fact that uh, in my family, like in many families of uh, Naples, Everybody was ready to, to play a role and to be part of a, a long comedy during a, a, a Sunday in the summer. My brother and my sister had a good reaction and uh, that's important for me more than uh, other people. You, you have to consider that many people are dead because they, they, they were old. But uh, yes, my brother and my sister had a good reaction, and this is uh, a relief for me. I don't know for sure. Uh, the, the, maybe the best movie I have seen about a coming of age is uh, a Au Revoir les Enfants, is a movie of Louis Mal. Yeah, for sure. Now, now it, it, it's the only movie that came up on my mind. Of course, it's a love letter to the cinema because it's uh, it's a movie where uh, where uh, uh, all the steps of the movie say always the same thing that uh, when the reality is something uh, of uh, unbearable, uh, the cinema can be a sort of uh, escape to the re uh, from the reality. So it's a love letter to the cinema, and it's something uh, that. Um, that uh, yeah, cinema is, is something that can help uh, can help in life to the to the to the audience. But in my case, I was lucky because I was uh, I had the, the 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 chance to do movies, and uh, this is also better than uh, uh, watch the movies. I am seduced by the pace, the rhythm of a movie. Um, there is a certain rhythm of, of movies that uh, I, I love. I think that the rhythm is the most important thing in a movie. And the movies that I don't love are movies that don't find the right rhythm about uh, the characters and about the story that they are going to, to tell. I am not cre creative now. I am creative uh, in wow. One week in two years, and in that week I do everything. <laughs> I write everything. <laughs> For now, I am watching uh, football matches when I am not uh, going to do interviews or Q and A. I don't know. I, I could say the usual names like Messi and uh, Cristiano Ronaldo, but. Um, no, maybe I would like to say to mention uh, a, a player that uh, plays in the, my favorite team, Naples, and he is Osimhen. The European cinema is a, for me is, an, is a hope. Is uh, is the hope to to keep going, to be free, to be independent. 
to can tell uh, whatever we want um, without uh, being uh, under the pressure of the current times. Thank you.